As we all most likely know, on the 16th of December 2020, the Christmas update for Realm has dropped, bringing fantastic features such as a new Nexus, some cool bosses, items, and of course, the Item Forge. When I tell you I was initially skeptical about the idea of the Item Forge when it was first revealed, trust me. However, I believe the Forge was a great idea and is executed very, very well. More onto that in a bit. I was running voice today in a Discord trying to get my mana and defense exaltations up. I'm now a fully exalted wizard and my next goal is to get Necromancer and Mystic to full exalt. But I'm doing them both at the same time so I could farm up my weapon proficiency, which allows me to have a higher percentage of loot drop permanently. I've currently got a 5% loot drop at this point, but once I've finished Lost Tools on my Mystic, I should go up to 10%, which is cool. I want 10% before the Free Eric Sanctuary event in early 2021. So yeah, running boys today. As well as getting a Sword of the Colossus drop, which was rather unexpected, a little bit later, killed the Void Entity, and yeah. This video pretty much says it all. <laughs> Fucking blue bag. Wait! Uh. Uh. <coughs> yeah. Diplomatic robe, enforcer, cranium. And of course, I needed this blueprint really badly because I was in dire need of an enforcer for my ninja. So of course, because I have this blueprint, I now have my dream necromancer and dream ninja completed, which I'm super happy about. Let's go on to my opinion on the whole system. I think it's been executed really, really well. The only visible flaws is the release is that Decker's patch notes are really, really brief. The whole community was really confused on how to obtain blueprints. A lot of them still are. I still have very mixed opinions on the whole selling sulfur for gold thing, but I think it's a good opportunity to give something for players to buy with the dead fame from their characters. But we're still very early in and we don't know what deck is going to be doing, apart from the fact that it's confirmed that it will be dropping in chest events. So it's been confirmed that we get 400 sulfur a day for free, which is completely reasonable. I see no reason for it to be higher. That's like 4 days to fully recharge so you can craft a legendary item such as the crown. See, if you have the items for it, imagine it like this. It's like a crown every four days, so I really don't see why anybody's complaining that it isn't higher. The way the items' values are balanced out is alright if you actually think about it. I see a few people wondering why Fungal Breastplate is on the same tier as something like Genesis Spell. Sure, Genesis gets a lot more main usage, however the Fungal Breastplate is still very rare. Some people get them super commonly, but at least in my case and a lot of other people I know, I <laughs> it's not really the case. 75 fungal caverns and I only got one within that time, so yeah. <laughs> My advice though, voids and fungals from what I've seen are very efficient ways to farm up blueprints due to you having multiple chances of obtaining one. I wanted to keep this video short so I'm probably just going to leave it here. Thank you all a lot for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.